Before this video begins, check out part three of Restaurant Raider. I got a little clip for you guys, for those that care. The rest of you could just skip past it and get right into the food review. I. YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, she made me and Dame drops back in with another super official food fight. Can you dig it, baby? I know you can't hate. Listen, man. As you can see, I'm with the two different locations. I slid over to Subway for $6.29. I grabbed with their steak and cheese with some onion and a little bit of mayo. Then I went to D'Angelo's, which is literally across the street over here, went and grabbed their steak and cheese, $7.99 with onions and mayo. So let's get into both of these bad boys, see which one is better, which one's gonna hold the crown, and then I'm gonna let you guys vote in the comment section below from whoever may win, who should be their next contender. Y'all ready? Let's go. All right, foodie fam, so either the lady behind the counter at D'Angelo's does not know what a six inch is, because all I asked for was a six inch, or this six inch is just a monster down in the game. However, I'm gonna pull this off. I'm just gonna say, Nah, I can't even say, is that? Ah, oh, nah, daddy. Maybe that is their six inch. Like all of a sudden I feel like I need to get a rule. I mean, that's Subway's half, <laughs> this is D'Angelo's half, I, I guess. Either way, we already know. Even if I was to take this one away and just leave that. Even if I was to, let's just act like we didn't get all this extra love. Let's stop it right here. How you guys feeling? Just by looking at the bread alone, are you saying even though the D'Angelo's bread is shorter, we're getting more steak and cheese here or we're getting more in Subway? Let me know in the comment section below. I already know what my answer is going to be, but this is for my foodie fam. Now let's get into these things. Still leaving that one off to the side. Let's just look at what we have right before us. How are you feeling about the steak game? I have to raise this up so we see the whole thing. I feel as if Subway definitely gave more steak for only $6.29 versus the $7.99 that I had to spend here with D'Angelo's. However, take a look at the steak. Let's look at steak quality. You can see those grilled onions with D'Angelo's. I won't lie. Subway just threw in the, the onions they had already chopped up. <laughs> they just threw those bad boys in as an afterthought. Whereas with D'Angelo's, they get grilled in for $7.99. We'll start with the Subway on wheat for $6.29. Let's go with D'Angelo's steak and grilled onions. Wow. That's actually quite good. Honestly, I thought there was gonna be a major difference between the two. Both a nice bite on the bread, even though this is wheat on this side. Comes a little more grain, so you can get a little more bite on it. Still, the pull of steak is a great pull on the both. Not too much chew. Salt and pepper was on the subway, adding flavor. Even with the onion kicking in, you're just like, yes, that's a bite and a half. But with D'Angelo's grilled onion, even though they didn't have salt and pepper, the grilled onion brought out the steak. Like, you know how you go to a concert and then you have artists that come out and you're not too sure of the artist sometime, but you know you there for that main artist that you came to see that you paid for? That's exactly what happened here. And the artist, the onion, wasn't half bad. That grilled onion took this steak to the next level. 
this making this one hard. Mmm. Mmm. Fam, this is the first time I can't decide on my own. If you guys don't mind, I gotta bring this home to my wife and get a second opinion. Give me a minute. All right, babe. Inside here, I have a Subway and I have D'Angelo's steak and cheese. Oh. I have the steak and cheese joint and I was struggling doing the food review because we normally go to D'Angelo's to get a steak and cheese. So look guys, I'm going to mess around. I'm giving the D'Angelo's a heavy five piece. I'm going to do Subway at a four and a half. I give him a four. You give, you give him a four? I give him a four because I think it was good. I didn't care for the bread. And it was hard to focus because they both had mayo. And they both had way too many onions. But at least D'Angelo's onions were cooked. Yeah, they were grilled onions, yeah. Subways were raw. The Subway ain't got no grill like that to make any grilled onions. All they could do is just put them in their toaster. But we're comparing, right? We're comparing, yes. Okay, there you go. I still think that they, they pull, both put up a good fight. Subway did way better than I thought they would. I expected a two or three out of them at the most. So I think the fours, they blew themselves out of the water. I don't know, guys. I, this, one, this one was definitely a tough call because they're both amazing, I think, personally with their own different unique styles about them i still think they're both a good steak and cheese highly rated highly favored d'angelo's in this one but you guys may feel differently so in the comment section below let me know d'angelo's or subway steak and cheese and if you haven't tried it i want you to try them both in your free time and then come back to this video and let your boy know because I think I'm struggling. Hey, just to let you guys know, I have two videos that I uploaded today. The other one is a real talk, as I have been doing, putting the polls up on Twitter at Dame Drops. Go ahead and check it out. If you are into the real talks, you don't have to if you're not. And uh, the rest of this week is going to be on some Edge Sketch because it's my little one's birthday. So that's going to be my focus for the next couple days. So I might be back on Monday. Restaurant Raider 4 will be going up this weekend. Saturday or Sunday, Ho hopefully Saturday, I'm hoping. But I'm gonna be out in Florida handling some business. My new alcohol review with my boy Matt Whitney, Libations, and that's episode seven, I believe, that's gonna be dropping this weekend. I gotta actually edit it. I'm out of here, man. Keep it crispy, I'll see you guys soon. If I, don't talk to you, if I do not talk to you this weekend, have an amazing weekend, foodie fam. I holla at you. Damn.